Hello, in our last video, we set up this program that has two tabs. We have an entry box one, where I can say hello, and we have a button that I can click in tab two. Um, and we set everything up such that it is contained within a class. What I want to do in this video is to add some functionality and just talk about some things around classes um, with this. Okay, so let's start first with the entry. Now, what we can do, and this is one of the real benefits of classes, I haven't really talked about that. And again, these programs are really about just setting things up and getting our feet wet. It's not really about deep theory about this stuff, um, but I'm going to talk about a little bit of that. So when we have self dot a variable name, I've been putting self in front of all these variables. What that means is that this is an instance variable. That means that every time I create a display object, I make a copy of this variable. Um, so if I make three or four display objects, I have three or four different root window variables. And this means the benefit of containing this within a class is I can access this anywhere within the class. So what I can do now is I can do... Ah, oh, now I remember what I want to do. Sorry. <laughs> Self.entry1, tab1, dot. And we're going to bind. Um, and we're going to bind return to it just like we would, just like we would in, in our in our non-class situation. But I have to actually make it what's called an instance method. And an instance method is a method associated with the class. Um, so I have to put the word self, self dot. And now what do we want to call this? Um, return hit. There we go. So now what I need to do is I need to write this definition. Now, if you did this without the class setup, I would have said you had to write this function above all this code. But because we're contained within a class, we're not going to do that. We're going to write this function inside the class. So we're going to tab it in, and we're going to say definition, and I'm going to say return hit. And then you'll notice that if you're using PyCharm, um, it will put the word self in here. And that's because it, it, this is an instance method. Okay, so now the beautiful thing about this is I can actually access everything without passing it along. So let's do that. So I'm going to do, I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make a couple. These are instance variables for management. So I'm going to make a variable called value and I'm going to set it to empty, an empty string right now. So what I do down here is I could do self.value equals equals self dot entry one tab one dot get and that's going to get the information and then I could do something like print self dot value and now when I run this what I should happen is when I say let's just adjust this a little bit so we can see watch right there let's run this again when I write in hello and I press enter Lovely, I get a nice error. Why is that error? Because this, I have to pass it, I have to pass it, well, I could do this with a wildcard, args. So if I run this again, there it is. It prints out the word. Perfect. So again, the error I had was because I forgot I had to put the wildcard piece there just to say listen if anything comes along with this you can manage it but you can actually be a little more specific by writing the word event there or any other word because this this when you connect this function it assumes that you're going to pass some event information so if I run this now it should still run hello still runs okay but let's clear this out and we're done so we're going to say self dot entry one dot t1 dot and what are we going to do? We're going to delete everything from 0 to end. And now this will nicely, because we'll pop this up, and we'll say hello, and when I press enter, it goes away. Fish, enter, goes away. Cat, enter, goes away. And we could eventually store this in a, a list to manage something. I don't know. Okay, let's do the button. Very similar. Command equals and we're going to put here clicked 
Now I'm not passing a parameter with this, so I am, oh, this will be self.clicked. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to put a parameter with this, so I'm not going to use the lambda notation. And again, I'm going to put this function just down below, def clicked. And I could just do something like print, you have clicked the button. Enter a couple times. And now when I run this, oh, not debug, I want to run. Sure enough, oh, I have two of them coming up. Let's get rid of both those and let's start again. Ooh. So that still works. There it is, tab two. And every time I click that, you have clicked the button. So there's a lot here. And like I said, this isn't necessarily about really understanding the theory of what we're doing. It's really to get you started to kind of build these basic GUI programs. You know, you now have the ability to to create some program that solves a math problem, that that does an, an ad, a mad lib, whatever it is. You can take an input and you can now do some processing with that. I hope the video helped. Have a wonderful day.